Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the parameters. Okay, so in the Postman, uh, we have some tab called params, right? So this is nothing. We can either use query parameter or we can use the path parameter. Okay, so what is query parameter? So query parameter is simple. If you want to filter some value, if you want to do some search, then we can use the query parameter. Okay, so query means to do the search and parameter in the, in the sense, the value that you want to filter. Okay, so query parameter, things to remember on the query parameter side. So query parameter is a part of URL. Okay, so whatever the query that you are going to add, it will be get appended to your URL. Okay, and it is used to pass the data because we are going to filter the data by using the parameter with the respective value. Okay, and it is optional, but not in all the cases. Okay, so which means some, some endpoints, the query parameter will be considered as an optional, but some cases, no, it is mandatory. Okay, I will tell you where it will be mandatory and where it is optional. So query parameter, it will get appended to a URL and I end up the URL. Okay, so the syntax will be like, a, it, will, it will go with the question mark and the value query ID equal to one. Okay, the question mark, this is our key and this is our value. And you can use multiple query parameter also by using the ampersand symbol, which is and condition. Okay. So now let's go to our API endpoint. So this is our local host API endpoint, which is uh, running with the help of JSON server. So when I send this complete request, so it is giving me two results. One is ID triple one and the one is ID triple two. Right. So let us assume we have like a one lakh of records, right? If I want to filter something, so what I can do now, I can use any one of the parameters. So for example, here, I'm going to give it as an ID. Okay, ID is triple one. You can see it is getting appended to our URL automatically. Okay, so when you uncheck them, it will disappear. Okay, it will be, I mean, uh, detached from the URL. Okay, so now if I send this request, <clears throat> so now I'm getting only the triple one detailed ID. Okay, so this is the ID triple one, which is we are using the query parameter. And I able to retry only this particular record. Okay, so similarly, you can append multiple values. So for example, I want to send the additionally name also. So the name is Saravanan here. Okay, so the moment when I typed here, you can see that it is getting automatically appended to our URL, right? And it is using the end condition. So now if I send this, if both conditions are matched, then it will retry the record. So if I uncheck this ID, you can see it is automatically disappeared from the URL. So now if I send this request, so wherever the name is matching as a Saravanan, you can see here also Saravanan is coming and here also Saravanan is coming. So this is called query parameter. Okay. So the query parameter will help you to do the search by applying the key pair value of the query parameter. Okay. So now where it is optional and where it is mandatory. Okay, so now let's take an example of red bus one. So this is already we covered in the last videos, right? So now we can see this is for red bus when we want to search for the, some buses from the some particular destination, the source on the particular day or date. Okay, so here you can see there are a lot of query parameter values for going here, right? So what is the mandatory here? So for example, if I uncheck this limit or if I uncheck this short order, right? Still I can see the response. Okay, the response is coming as a 200 because this and all, it is an optional query parameter. Okay, but if I uncheck any one of this, for example, if I uncheck this date of journey, right? So when I uncheck this DOJ, which is data of our journey, so now if I send this request, it will not work because if you are looking for a bus, if you are going for a travel, so what is the mandatory thing? You have to give your starting point and you have to give your ending point, right? So here it is from city to city. And the date also you have to provide. So any one of these details, if you are not providing, you can see you are getting as a 404 not found. So anything on the 400 series, it is a client side error. Okay. So considering in this case, these parameters are mandatory and these parameters are optional. So even though if you uncheck a couple of things, you can see group ID, section, section ID. So if I send this, still it will work. You can see it is coming as a 200 response, right? So this is what some cases it is optional, but not always. Okay. So this is what query parameter. So query parameter, the rules or query parameter is it will get appended to our URL automatically. So when you add the query parameter like this, 
okay and it is mandatory but not in the all the case sometime it is optional as well okay so now if you look at this we have lot of query parameters right so we have lot of query parameters so what is this means like for example if you want to copy paste this query parameter to some other i mean the next request what you can do you can use this option called bulk query okay if you don't want some query parameters no, then you can un simply uncheck this so if you uncheck this this will not work more okay this is not anymore so you can simply uncheck them and you can uh, you can go for a bulk query so bulk query in the sense you can edit or you can copy paste like you can control c and you can copy paste and you can update to the next request so for example i am copying this if i open the new tab so let me go to the query param in the bulk edit so just paste them here okay so the moment when you paste now automatically it is set as a key pair value because this query parameter also it's a part of key pair value okay so this is what query parameter next one is path parameter okay so path is nothing the location of resource okay and the parameter the value that we set so parameter key things are parameter is a part of path parameter is a part of url so again the path parameter also it will get appended to your url i mean append in the sense it is a part of the url okay and it is not optional okay it is a mandatory and the syntax of the i mean syntax of the path parameter will be you have to put a colon and you have to send the val key and the respective value you can send it from the path variables so now let's go to here okay so now if you look at this so till local goes is my base url and the tester is a path for this particular resource okay so if i want to make this as a path so what i can do now so i can simply put a colon here okay and i can give like a so uh, name okay the moment when i type the name you can see the path variables have started displaying here okay so if i delete this you can see it is gone so the syntax will be you have to put a colon and a name okay so here you can see the key is coming as a name so here i can pass the value like this so now if you want to confirm what value is going here so we have given as a tester right still if you want to confirm you can go to the console and you can clear all the logs so now if i send this request so the name will have the our respective value of tester you can see the tester is going here okay this is what path parameter and the path parameter you can see you cannot uncheck so query parameter you can uncheck that because this is optional right when it is come to path parameter the path parameter is mandatory you cannot uncheck that okay so now let's take a one more example of what is query parameter and path parameter so this is my github.com okay this is a github.com website so if i want to go to my page so this is my account okay so this is called path parameter this is my account name okay so because we are going to the base github.com url after that i am going to my path which is my page okay my account so now if i use any other account like some random name if i am give like this so this will not work right you will get 404 not found because this username is does not exist with the github so let me go to my account back so now consider this is my path okay so inside this so i'm i'm into my overview page which is my dashboard kind of a page so now if i go to repository so now you can see this is getting appended as a query parameter so we are going to the github.com in github.com we are going to my account in my account we are into the repository tab so the repository tab is you can see it is getting appended in the url by the name of query parameter so if i go to the projects then the tab equal to projects will come okay so if i go to something like a, uh, open source or pricing so pricing is a path okay you can see it is coming as a path right so if i put something else here then it will not work because this is not a valid resource right so that is what the query path parameter so it is a location of resource so like it will be slash 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 so when this query per, i mean this path parameter will will come into the picture so for example you have some variables defined okay so for example this this is one right so local goes 3000 is a, our port number so tomorrow if this port is getting changed to 5000 right let us assume you have like a 5200 uh, request in the postman it is very hard to go on change every time right 
instead of doing that what we can do now we can define as a path variables so the, the variables you can send it from any one of the variables like a collection variable or environment variable so anyway we will see the variables topic in our upcoming videos i'm i'm just giving the heads up on the variables part also okay so this is how we have to use query parameter it is optional you can filter out the values i mean you can filter out the results and it is part of the url it is optional but not always okay path parameters it is a part of your resource i mean it's a part of your uh, url and it is a location of the resource for example if you, if you want to provide me your correct address so you are, you have to provide like a www dot uh, some abc dot com slash city slash uh, your area name slash your street address then apartment name then you will provide the door number as a query parameter right so to if i want to reach you you have to provide me the correct details correct address details so i can reach your home right that is called path parameter okay so let's take another example of query parameter and path parameter so the one more uh, example for the both query parameter and the path parameter you can see here so this is one of the weather api where you can check the forecast for the particular place okay so here you can see that the city name is going as a query parameter and the count right so number of day you want to see the forecast for the particular city or particular place so we can change this one to i mean uh, you can have any city name so for example i'm giving as a chennai okay so the count i'm just giving as a three days so now if i send this request so now the response is coming for the 200 and i can see that the name of the city i have given as a chennai and the number of count i'm looking for the last three days so this will give you the uh, forecast report for the particular last three days so this is sunrise and sunset temperature details everything okay so here if you look at what is mandatory in the sense so the location is mandatory right this is query parameter so why the location is mandatory because if you want to see some forecast for the particular location you have to provide either location or you have to provide some uh, location coordinates or, or city name or country name something right so without that it, it is very difficult to find so if i uncheck this and if i send this so we'll be getting some error which is 400 bad request because we are we are asking to check for the weather report but we are not providing any locations right so that is our mistake which is a client error 400 bad request so now if i uncheck this and if i uncheck this count right so in this case this will work okay you can see this is working so we are getting as a name as a chennai and we are getting the 200 okay the count is by default they are giving us a seven so if you look at your mobile weather api application so when you open that weather api you know by default it will give you for the last i mean the next seven days forecast correct so if you want to control that count then you can send this count along with the query parameter okay so if you do the control if you give just only for one day then the weather report will be shown by only one day you can see the count is i mean shown as a one right so this is what query parameter it is optional but not in the all the cases okay and you can see the path variable right so this is complete path so till org is my base url after that data version forecast and daily right so till this my resource my path right so here you can see the version is currently it's a 2.5 okay so this is what working now 2.5 so sometime if it is later changing to 3.5 or 4.5 so you have to change the path. so instead of doing that what we can do we can have this as a path parameter so for path parameter colon is the syntax and you have to give like any key so i'm giving as a just a person so the moment when you type it as a person you can see the path variables are generated so here i can pass the value like 2.5 so when i send this request you can see this is working fine so how do you confirm this person is sending as a 2.5 you can go to console you can see here it is going as a 2.5 okay so this is what all about the parameter we have two types of parameter in the postman one is query parameter and one is path variables or path param okay so in our, our next videos uh, we will see about the variables what are the variables are available so you can send this as a variable also you can set it in some collection variable or some environment variable also that will be in the upcoming video. Thank you guys.